Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. In order for you to successfully launch this and understand it, first make uh, follow the video and use only this one. Make sure to display the temperature on the serial monitor. Once it's done, then use only this one without the temperature sensor. Make sure you're able to display a text on the LCD. Once that is done, then you can use this code and both of these will easily work. Now let me explain the wiring. For this one we have four wires. The four wires have, have been arranged uh, like this. The, from the left this is 3.3 volts have been connected to the 3.3 volts. The second pin is red have been connected to the ground. And then this is SDA, the orange have been connected to A4. And SCL, the pin is connected to A5 using yellow wire this is ground the ground have been connected to ground of arduino at this point vcc is 5 volts using a white pen have been connected here to 5 volts and then we have sda the gray have been connected to, to this sda pen labeled here using this wire sda and scl is the last one have been connected to the last pen here in arduino board One is for Adafruit HTU21DF and the other is the liquid crystal underscore I2C. I will provide you the link. You will download each separately as zip and follow this step for each. You click on sketch, include library, add dot zip library. Once you click, you will point it to where you have saved that zip file. For example, if this was your zip file, you will browse and select it and click open. Do this for both zip files. After that, close your Arduino, meaning click close here and you see here I have three instances of this. Close them all one by one, make sure it's closed and then reopen it. Now this is the code include wire.h is part of arduino ide you don't need to download anything it's already included this is the one that you have just downloaded this is the class name and from this class we create an instance of that class as an object and we call it htu including this line so the job of this line is to create this object which we will use later then this is the beginning of and this is the liquid crystal.h using the include. So this is part of the library that you have downloaded. In the next line, we create the instance of this class and we call it LCD. It needs three parameters here. The first parameter is the address, the I score C address of the device of your display. And the 16 is number of character. Two is two line. If you have uh, 20 character and four lines, uh, four lines, you type here. 20 and then make this 4. Now to get this address you need to run I square C. So copy and paste the, uh, the I square C in a blank sketch. Upload it to your Arduino. Once it is uploaded Make sure that temperature sensor is disconnected, especially these two wires that are for I square C. Disconnect them because it will read the address for this. So we are making sure to get the address for this. Now I'm opening the serial monitor. You can click on tools, serial monitor or press control shift M. Here, this will read the address. The address is 0x3f and I've already written it because I need it continuously in many tutorials. And if I connect the wire for this, you will see that we will be reading one more I square C address. You see 0x3f, uh, you see 0x40. This is the address for this module. 
Now let's close this and close the there. Type it here. Zero x refers to the hex value because we are referring the type, and this is actual tree if is the address. After this, inside the setup, we use lcd.begin. Job of this one is to initialize the LCD. LCD backlight will initialize the backlight, and then HTU that's for HTU uh, temperature dot begin. This checks. This means not. If it is not initialized, then we print this on the screen, and then in the next line, which we go LCD dot set cursor to line zero. Uh, character zero line one on this line and we say sensor missing and while one this while true one is true while one while this is true stay here forever so the program will not proceed further from this line else if that is not true which means the sensor is working then we print this on the screen let me and and then on the next line we print demo demo if I reset by pressing the reset button on the Arduino, you will see that it will print that with the demo. This text is coming from there. And then we give the user two seconds to read it, and we go to the loop. This portion will run once inside the setup from here up to this end. And then the loop is uh, the part of the code that will run continuously. First, we clear the screen from the previous value, which was there. And then this is a function LCD which needs all these parameters. This is the opening and this is the closing. You see when I put that, you see the square around it. And it has all these parameters with comma. The first one refers to line zero, character zero. This is the first one is character zero, line zero. It goes up to this point. And then we print the text, the Celsius. After that, we print the temperature, which we go to character 10. If you see here, uh, if you count it, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. At 10 of line 0 and this line, we, we use a get HTU. Inside the quotation, we put capital C. This is getting the temperature, which is this. And then D means a degree will be printed. So for the Kelvin, we don't need, but for the Celsius, we want to press print that degree symbol, which look nice. So from here to here is just on one line to display all these value. You just pass this parameter. It will make it very easy, which I'm going to explain it next. Then the same way from here to here, we'll do the Fahrenheit, which is in the next line. You see it here. And we print the degree symbol. And then we wait five seconds. After that, we print this Kelvin. Now let's just wait for this. Celsius Fahrenheit. After this, this is five seconds. And then we go to the line zero character zero, print Kelvin, and then this time we print capital, uh, if it is Kelvin, we print K. And in the next line, line zero, character zero, line one, we print humidity, we put H, get HTU with H. So you just need to put H, it will convert it to, it will, it will give you the H, and then the percent is referring to this percent, so we can print it. And we wait five seconds and the loop continuously doing the same thing. Now, two functions need to be explained. Get HTU and then LCD display. Let me show you the get HTU. It has a return type float, which means a number with a, def with a decimal point. And this KH or uh, C that you pass, when arrives here, it, it, it has a name called type. We have a new variable called value, which will return. This has not initialized. We read the temperature here. And the temperature is stored in this variable called temp. We read the humidity. We store it in this variable, relative humidity. And then we check if the type, this type, is capital F. What we do is we get the temperature, which is here, multiply it by this, uh, 9 over 5 plus 32. So this becomes Fahrenheit when we store it into value or assign it to value. If that is K, the type here, we get the temperature in Celsius at 273.15, and this becomes Kelvin when we store it here. If it is H, we need humidity, then we get uh, relative humidity and pass it to this value, so the value now has relative humidity. 
Else means if none of this is true, then it means Celsius. So then the actual temperature is assigned to this value, and we use return dot value. We'll get one of those according to what we request here, K, H, um, C, or F Fahrenheit. And this function display will get all those values to make it simple. You see, we are printing. This is the temperature character, that is temperature rho from here. Those value that you pass, the title, will be printed on this. And the second one will print the value. And after that, we check if it is D, the degree should be displayed. Print this car 223. This is printing that degree symbol. And if it is percent, we print the percent here for the Kelvin. For the Kelvin, we print K. Now let me demonstrate. I'm blowing hot air from this, so you will hear the buzz, but I'm going to keep it away from the screen. Now it's 96 degrees or 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Very hot, almost going to burn, but I just removed the heater. 88 degrees and 190 degrees Fahrenheit. If I hold it, my body temperature will bring it down. Let's see. The humidity already increased, 44 degrees. Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you. Thank you for watching tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.